Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Gully here. Welcome back to some more epic Polytopia gameplay. Got another random multiplayer match for you today. Let's jump right into it. Let's put it on any map type. The map type is continents. We can rock Kiku. Okay, here we are in our little fish world. First things first, level up that capital. Give me a workshop. And I see two fishies up here, so I'm going to move towards those in the hopes that there's just like a village sitting right there. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, another warrior. Forgot to check what their starting score was. Dang it, now I don't know what tribe they could be. Let's stick you north and then train a third warrior. Put you north again. There's a village. Do I want organization? That is the question. Five stars. I'll take it. We can still level up this city. Realistically, we'll probably need it because I'm guessing we're going to get shields because if this is a continent's map, there's going to be a lot of naval play, you know? Any land here? Yes, very nice. Okay. Another warrior just to go this away. We can just end our turn right there. Move you north. Land ends there. I see. I mean, do we just want to research sailing? We're going to need it. It's not the most economically efficient thing, but we'll go ahead and pick it up. And I'm going to grab an explorer here. Just see what that reveals. Aha. We see his borders. And there's a village down here. That's cool. We'll end our turn. Simanti. Oh, that's scary. That's really scary. They're playing Simanti. Good news is I do have some time to kind of like prepare and get my footing just because Simanti plus water, eh, not a crazy good mix, but you know, still nothing to laugh at. Let's take this city here. We'll go ahead and level it up, take a workshop. We'll just end our turn. We'll go ahead and level up this city and we'll take resources. That's going to bump us up to 16 stars. And with those stars, we can get a little bit of port action going. Any land here? No. But there is a whale there, so there is land over here. Harvest that fruit there. Take resources. Train some warriors. And we'll also go ahead and capture this city. So if we can beat Simanti to whatever continent is up here, I think we'll be fine. But geez, that is scary. <laughs> the bugs. They're too good. We could start seeing some Fichi come across the ocean or something. We're going to grab navigation and just do some exploring here. What the heck? Is the land here? Interesting. All right, keep getting boats. Aha. There's some land. Put you on that ruin and put you north. There's land. We're going to go ahead and pop a port here and start getting some boats going towards Simanti here. We don't want them to get too crazy. End our turn. So I guess the question mainly becomes how big is their continent? Our continent had a nice five cities on it. Counting our capital. They have at least one, obviously. Definitely more, though. 2,800 points. So, yeah. Four or five cities. What's this give us? Resources. Okay. There's another village. Wow. <laughs> what a nice village. Okay, let's get vision on Simanti. Hello. We get hunting. All right. Well, that'll let us level up our capital, which will give us resources. And we can level up this city down here, and that'll give us resources. I guess we could put a port here. That'll let us start churning out units from our capital. We can hunt that, and that will give us population growth. And then I'm going to train a warrior here and put a port there. That'll give us a giant and our Metropolis Monument. I guess we can put it here in this city, and then we can get another port there next turn, and that'll give us another giant. Nice. That was a good turn. So how are they going to react to this boat here? Okay, they got kitons. Well, we'll just go around it, start kinging it a little bit. Let's get the giant in that port. It'll delay that warrior from porting by a turn, but I think having the giant over here is going to be beneficial. I would like to reveal their shaman. Oh, hello, hexapod. Shoot it. Let's go ahead and capture both of these cities here. Whaling is 18 stars. If we get border growth from both of these cities, that's 50. I mean, I guess that's worth it, right? We don't need the tech this turn, though. I guess realistically it's not that big of a profit, but we're going to level up these cities anyways, so it's fine. Oh, that hexapod was boosted. Their shaman might be in this area. They got another kiton down here. It's alright, we have boat spam. Yeehaw. Let's first start with a bit of exploration. Let's reveal whatever city we got going here. Keep spamming our warriors, you know how it is. There ain't no stopping Kiku in their boats, fellas, let me tell you. We're just going to start lighting this poor man up. Feel the wrath of the dinky little arrows. Okay, 16 stars to work with. We can port here and get a giant. Next turn, I'm going to work on getting whaling and getting these two cities up, I think. Is he going to get a city wall? Yes, sir. 
But Kitons don't have Fortify, so that's realistically going to do nothing for them. Plopping some Fungi down, oh man. And some Mycelium, alright buddy. I see you over there. Got some Ruins chilling up here, that's cool. Oh, this poor guy. Light him up! Jeez, we need more. <laughs> more boats. Oh, almost forgot about this guy. There you go. I'm just hoping this man doesn't resign. That would be kind of sad. But we are dominating the sea right now. I mean, we're playing against Symanti, you know, of course we're dominating the sea, but Symanti's just a big pushover, that's what it is. You know, you think you're so big and tough, but when a little bit of water gets in the way, I'm just glad we're not on a drylands map. Ooh, a centipede. What's this give us? Riding. Okay, one step closer to trade, I guess. Let's just do some port action. And we'll take border growth and hunt some whales. That basically makes me back the stars that I just spent for the ports. We'll do the same thing over here and hunt these whales. Send in the boats. You know the drill at this point, guys. Now, realistically, I can upgrade some of these boats. Start whaling on this guy a little bit more. And we'll slide our giant onto that city. Unless he giant pushes, I don't think he's going to be able to break that. Please don't resign. Please don't resign. I'm begging you. Just for funnies, I want to kill that Kiton. That's 15 health, not 5. Okay, well, we'll shoot it. This is kind of why I think Polytopia's naval system should be updated. It's just boats. You know how it is. Oh, he's got Raichi. He went boom. Let's go ahead and slurp this city up. Very tasty. In fact, I think it's so tasty we can afford to get a giant there. And one more port. Stuff's linking up. Oh, baby. There's a giant. And another giant here. Okay, that's very nice. I'm gonna be real with you, fellas. I'm just not feeling these Kiton. They're gonna have to go, realistically. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, let's beat the AI real quick. All capitals were captured. And that is the game, my friends. I think this game was a great example of, you know, you want a tribe that's gonna match the terrain a little bit. Basically, don't pick Aquarion on dry lands. And don't pick Symantion on water-based maps. Symantion on water-based maps? They're not really that big of a threat, honestly. This wasn't too bad. I was really scared in the beginning of the game just because, ooh, Symanti, bug people. Ah. But no, it wasn't too bad. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe for more epic Polytopia gameplay. Join my Discord server if you want. It's kind of neat. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a spectacular day.